Hello there, welcome back to another video in this OpenCV tutorial series and in this video I'm gonna show you how you can read barcodes uh, in Python using OpenCV. So without wasting any more time, let's get into the video. So guys, uh, to decode and read the uh, barcodes, basically we have to use a library that is called as zbar and we have to first install it. So let's just install it using pip install pyzbar. Uh, it will install in a second and it is installed so let's first import cv2 and also import from pyzbar import pyzbar okay so we have both these files now what i am going to do uh, firstly i am going to read my image so img equal to cv2 dot i am read and here i am going to give my path okay now i am going to show uh, show the image i am show in this image and image now i have to wait for a time otherwise it is going to crash the program and then cv2 dot destroy all windows i think that there is something wrong with the path let's take this it should work now yeah so we have this image and it has both these kind of uh, barcodes so it we will see whether our algorithm will be able to detect it or not so let's just close it and what I'm going to do is now I am going to decode this image so for that I'm going to make an object let's say barcodes equal to pi z bar dot decode and in this I'm going to give my image so what it is going to do so what it is going to do it is going to give x y w h location for every barcode so basically uh, if we have this image and here we have this barcode and here we have this barcode so it will give x y location for this and its width and its height same with this barcode so let's just take a look now we have decoded uh, decoded the barcodes now we will see all the barcodes so for barcode in barcodes I am going to use this tuple unpacking and this is called tuple unpacking basically barcode dot rect so it is giving us the position of the rectangle basically okay now let's just throw that barcode on the image or that uh, rectangle on the image so cv2 dot rectangle oh. here I am I have to give the image and now I need the, the starting point now the bottom right point so it should be x plus w from a y plus h and then we need to give the color so 0 0 255 and let's make it 4 okay now we also have to show the data of that barcode that what uh, information it is containing so for that what i am going to do i am going to use we uh, let's make a object or make a variable p data that is barcode data so barcode barcode dot data dot decode and this data is available in the bytes form so we have to convert it into the string so that's why we are using the decode function here and we have to give utf-8 so it will convert that data into an string into a string we also can use like uh, the type of the barcode so barcode barcode dot type and let's make this a text string so we will use f string formatting for this uh, b data slash 
B type. Okay, and now just put we will put to this text onto the image. So put text, and now I have to give that uh, image, then the text, then I have to give the uh, starting position, top left mm -hmm. position. So let's give x comma y minus uh, let's say 10 okay so because we want our text to appear a little bit above the rectangle so let's suppose this is the image here this is the boundary of that barcode so we want this is the boundary of the um, barcode so we want to our text to appear a little bit above this part so we will start from here okay so now we have to give the font cb2 dot font let's use simplex and i am going to uh, give the font size 0.5 you can also take one it's up to you so let's give the color 0 uh, green and let's make it 2 pixels wide i think this is it now we will just run this let's okay so it is showing us an error barcode is not defined oh it should be barcodes now if we will see this okay so it has detected our data but it is not showing us the boundaries so let's see what is going on here uh, we'll see wait a second It should be oh yeah we need to give this into a tuple now let's run this again and as you can see here it has perfectly detected our both barcodes and it has also detected the barcode uh, what do you say barcode data and barcode type so this barcode is of type code 128 and it is getting out of the image so what we can do is let's read that so for that image it is um, that's i minus 50 okay yeah we need to read the image again oh. I have to do it again so let's make it 150 I just want to see that what is the type of that barcode so it is QR code basically this is a QR code and this was code 128 kind of barcode so guys this was it and I hope that you understood the concept here so I'll see you next time thanks for watching